Ladies and gentlemen, can you hear me? Yeah. Thank you. There was a time when Victorian citizens simply asked their government to do good. Today, we're actually forced to have rallies demanding that they stop doing evil. A crying shame, a fox on this house. Puppy mills are not fun. They are a disgusting disgrace and a blot on the Australian character and culture. Yeah! These dark satanic mills must be shut down immediately. Yeah! Because it is a vile, vicious, and ignoble scam. Yeah! Donald Horne described Australia as the lucky country and Bob Hawke said he wanted us to become the clever country. <laughs> but today, we are increasingly being known right around the world as the cruel country. Yeah. Is that the legacy we want to leave for Australia? No. Now the politicians may choose not to hear the screams from those torture chambers, but they will hear your outraged voices. Because this is not an industry, it is an atrocity. It has no place in any civilized society. And anyone, particularly the people in Cowles Castle behind me, who defend this vulgar trade is either ignorant, deceitful, or deliberately obtuse. And there is no place for them in Parliament either. I ask you all, will the government and the opposition in this building have the courage to send out a DVD called The Puppy Mill to every Victorian household? And I'm willing to pick up the tab to do it. politicians gave you their word that they would shut down these gulags of despair. So today, let's call on them to simply keep their bloody word. Yeah! Let's tell them now, we want them to shut down these ghastly Guantanamos. And I call on the big end of town, the people I know, from BHP down, those high-rise buildings, the big corporates with the money and the political clout, to be good corporate citizens and support Oscar's law financially and morally. I also want Jeremy Stinks to know that last year to him I promised him something and I've kept my word to fund Oscar's law going forward. And so for the last year we have. And today I have a check for another twenty thousand dollars. Follow my suit, we need $20 million to bring down any government that tolerates these atrocities. The death knell for puppy mills has come, and it's about bloody time. Yeah. Make no mistake about it, puppy mills is a cruel corporate crime. Yeah. And Australians will never tolerate cruelty. So let's end it now, once and for all. I've uh, been told I've got to hand this over to Deborah. <laughs>